Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Teacher Masoro, and today I'm going to teach you how to expand two brackets and three brackets. So if you want to learn that, tune in. times x plus 4 in brackets so we're going to simplify okay we're going to remove brackets so just know that you're going to multiply the first term which is x with everything this side and the second term which is 2 with everything this side okay so we're going to have x x plus 4 plus 2 x plus 4 okay you can see that we multiplied x with everything this side which is this and we multiplied 2 with everything this side which is this okay so after this step we can now remove brackets so we're going to say x times x which is x squared x times 4 which is 4x plus 2 times x which is positive 2x, 2 times 4, which is 8, okay? After this step, we collect like terms. So we're going to have x squared plus 6x plus 8. This is how to expand two brackets. Let's get to number 2. Number 2, we have 2x minus 3 times x minus 2. We're going to multiply this term with everything this side and this term with everything this side. Okay, so we're going to have 2x, x minus 2, negative 3, x minus 2. Okay, you can see that we have multiplied the first term with everything this side and the second term with everything this side. Make sure that you write this term with its sign. If it's positive 3, you write positive 3 here. If it's negative 3, you write negative 3. You don't just write 3 without a sign in front of it. Okay? After this, we're going to remove brackets. So, 2x times x, we're going to have 2x squared. 2x times negative 2, we're going to have negative 4x. Negative 4x, okay? Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. If you multiply a negative with a positive, it's supposed to give you a negative, right? Here we have negative 3 times negative 2. We are multiplying a negative and a negative. So we're going to get a positive. So negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6, okay? After that, we can now collect like terms. So we're going to have 2x squared. This and this are the same okay you can see that there's x here there's x here so negative 4x minus 3x we're going to have negative 7x right plus 6 this is how to remove two brackets okay now let's remove three brackets number three we're going to remove three brackets okay so we have x plus 2 x plus 3 x minus 1 we are supposed to expand this so the first thing just deal with the first two brackets okay deal with the first two brackets after we are done with them deal with this and the other one okay so here we are going to have x we're just dealing with two brackets x x plus three plus two x plus three okay we're dealing with the first two brackets this one is still x plus one okay now we're going to remove brackets here we're going to have x squared x times x is x squared x times three three x two times x two x two times three six x plus one is still there we collect like terms here, we're going to have x squared 
plus 5x, 3x plus 25x plus 6x plus 1. Okay? So after this step, we're going to multiply. So after this step, we're going to multiply the first term with everything this side, the second term with everything this side, and the third term with everything this side. Okay? So we're going to have x squared x plus 1 plus 5x x plus 1 plus 6 x plus 1. Okay? We remove brackets. x squared times x is x to the power 3. x squared plus 1 is x squared. 5x times x is 5x squared. 5x times 1 is 5x. 6 times x is 6x. 6 times 1 is 6. After this step, you collect like terms. We have x to the power 3 x squared plus 5x squared is going to be 6x squared, right? 5x plus 6x is going to be 11x, then 6. This is how to remove three brackets. This is the final answer, okay? Now let's get to number 4. Number 4, we have three brackets. We have x minus 2 times x minus 1 times 2x minus 5. So the first thing, deal with the first thing two brackets, okay? So, we're going to have x, x minus 1, negative 2, x minus 1. We have 2, x minus 5, this side, okay? We can see that here we have multiply x with everything this side. We have multiply negative 2 with everything this side, okay? We remove brackets so we're going to have x squared x times negative 1 is minus x negative 2 times x is negative 2x negative 2 times negative 1 we are multiplying a negative and a negative you are supposed to get a positive number so negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2 okay we have 2x minus 5 this side after this step, we collect like terms here. We're going to have x squared minus 3x negative x minus 2x is negative 3x plus 2, 2x minus 5, right? Now we're going to multiply all the terms this side with everything this side, right? So we're going to have x squared times 2x minus 5, negative 3x times 2x minus 5, positive 2 times 2x minus 5, right? After this step, we can now remove brackets. We're going to have x squared times 2x is 2x to the power 3, x squared times negative 5 is negative 5x squared. Negative 3x times 2x is negative 6x squared. Negative 3x times negative 5 is positive, okay? Positive 15x. You can see you are multiplying a negative number and a negative number. So you are supposed to get a positive number, okay? 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Okay? After this step, we collect like terms. So we're going to have 2x to the power 3, negative 5x squared minus 6x squared. We're going to get negative 11x squared. 15x plus 4x is going to be... 19x and this is just negative 10. This is how to remove three brackets. Okay, now let's do the last ones number five and six. Then we are done. Number five, we have x plus three squared. Okay, this this is not 
this is not x squared plus 9. This is not x squared plus 9, guys. Right? Others, you, you just say x squared, 3 squared. No, this is wrong. Okay? It's very wrong. Right? So, x plus 3 squared is the same as x plus 3 times x plus 3. Okay? You're supposed to do like this. And then, x times everything this side plus 3 times everything this side. Okay? So, we're going to have x times x, which is x squared plus x times 3 is 3x. Three, 3 times x is 3x. Then 3 times 3 is 9. Okay? We collect like terms. We're going to have x squared plus 6x plus 9. Okay? Now let's get to number 6. Number 6, you expand the bracket. This is x minus 5 to the power 3. Don't just say x to the power 3 minus 5 to the power 3. No, it's not supposed to be like that. Right? So this is supposed to be x minus 5, x minus 5, x minus 5. Right? You deal with the first two brackets, then you use the other bracket when you are done with the first two. So we're going to have x x minus 5, we have multiplied this x with everything this side, we're going to multiply this negative 5 with everything this side, okay, we still have our x minus 5, so we remove brackets, we're going to have x squared minus 5x, negative 5 times x minus 5x, negative 5 times negative 5, is negative and negative supposed to give you a positive okay so we're going to have positive 25 then x minus 5 we collect like terms negative 5x minus 5x is negative 10x plus 25 x minus 5 right after this we multiply x squared with everything this side negative 10x with everything this side and 25 with everything this side so we're going to have x squared x minus 5, negative 10x, x minus 5, positive 25, x minus 5, okay? So, this is going to be x to the power 3 minus 5x squared, negative 10x times x, it's going to be negative 10x squared, negative 10x times negative 5, we're going to have positive 50x. It's because it's negative 10x times negative 5. And negative and negative, they give you a positive. And then here, 25 times x, we're going to have 25x. 25 times negative 5, we're going to have negative 125. After that, you collect like terms. This one is x to the power 3, negative 5x squared minus 10x squared. We're going to have negative 15x squared and positive 10x plus 25x. We're going to have positive 25x minus 125. This is... Thank you for watching today's episode whereby we're expanding 2 and 3 brackets. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Make sure to download a worksheet so that you can practice. Thank you. Bye-bye.